SpotlightMediaStudios.com. Welcome to Education Unfiltered. Here is Mary Stucco. Hello, this is Mary Stucco with Education Unfiltered, and we talk all things higher ed. And a lot of times higher ed starts in high school. So we have a lot of students who are in, uh, actively involved in programs that will transfer into college credits when and they move on to that next stop. Today we have with us Monique Kalizzi. She's the instructor at Wilson Talent Center, which is part of the Ingham Intermediate School District. And Mike Maurer, who's the director of Accident Fund Insurance Company at the Lansing headquarters. He's also the chairperson for Insuring My Future, a nonprofit advocating for careers in the insurance industry. Welcome, Monique and Mike. Thank you, Mary, so much for having us on the show today. You are so welcome. And today we're going to talk about insurance. You have a wonderful program um, at Wilson Talent Center, Monique, and you've been the instructor. Can you tell us a little bit about, you know, your journey into this and, you know, what you do at Wilson Talent Center and how long you've been doing it? Sure. I'll talk a little bit about Wilson Talent Center first. As you mentioned, it's part of Ingham Intermediate School District. Uh, We service 12 districts in our service area of Ingham County, but we also serve um, several other areas as well. We have a total of 19 career and technical education programs at Wilson Talent Center. Um, My specific program has been um, in operation for six years, and our industry partner, as you mentioned, is Accident Fund, and our collegiate partner is Ferris State University. When the program began, Mary, six years ago, we had um, six students enrolled, and this year, even in the midst of all the challenges, we had an enrollment of um, 50 students. So they spent a half wow. a day with me um, in the morning and then again um, in the afternoon with another group. But clearly we focus on the areas of risk management insurance, as well as um, entrepreneurship and business studies. If students stay with me for just a year, Mary, they're able to earn nine credits from Ferris State University. If they end up coming back for the second year, they are able to earn between 15 to 21 collectively, um, between first and second year, 15 to 21 credits. And then we have an early college program that allows for that opportunity of 55 college credits through Ferris State. That's fantastic. That's an amazing thing that you're doing there. Thank you. I, I enjoy it. And um, I, I want to briefly touch upon a um, some of the student success stories um, that have really come to light this school year, um, which I'm super proud. So I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, five of my students recently have landed a job at a Lansing-based insurance agency or are in the process of doing so just with the exposure that the program is getting, the support from Accident Fund and um, other companies and agencies in Lansing, they're starting to recognize the value um, of my students and and they're starting to get jobs as high school seniors. Um, I also started this year with the help of my advisory committee and Mike Maurer and Brad Bush from Michigan Millers an insurance BFF program, and that allows my 19 second-year students to partner with somebody either on the agency side or the company side. Um, Of course, we're not able to leave campus this year, and that's kind of a pillar of the program is for students to experience the real world. Um, So to bridge that gap, we've, we've started the insurance BFF program. My kids have been matched with somebody in industry. They meet twice a month online. And they have an agenda set up. They they set up the mentor meetings um, and, and really just a, a person to connect with, to bridge the gap, advice, inspiration, um, motivation, of course, during their senior year. But we've got individuals from Michigan Millers, from Accident Fund, General Agency, Tri-County Agency, the Rathbun Agency, Holton Diamonddale Agency, as well as Doan Agency, helping um, my kids out. So I think they're really building um, a solid resume this year. Even though we haven't been able to get off campus, they have attended um, some virtual events hosted by Davenport, Delta Dental, um, Charlotte Fire Department. My kids have always have also presented at uh, board meetings for Ingham ISD. National Alliance invited us to a couple of board meetings last week, and they've been part of podcasts. And it, it, So it's kind of interesting to see the transition of 
the involvement is almost stronger this year with my students being involved in some leadership opportunities um, through a virtual platform. They've been on WILX and just recently Fox 47's Morning Blend. Um, so, again, just some really great opportunities um, yeah. with that. There's definitely been some positives that have come out of how we do business, the changes of how we've had to do business, that's for sure. Absolutely. Mike, Absolutely. Let's, Mike, let's talk a little bit about, and Monique's already going that direction. We were talking a lot about the connecting the cl- classrooms to the industry. And I think that's so important in all areas. Um, but, you know, it's really important in insurance because there's so many different types of positions available, um, so many companies just in the Lansing area for students to choose from. So can you talk a little bit, because you're just, you're really um, a big innovator and in, in connecting all of these students to these different uh, different things that are available to them. Can you talk a little bit about some of these programs and things that you're involved with? Sure, sure. You know, and then really I'll, I'll <laughs> maybe get a little bit of a history on it too. Uh, you know, really when we started this program six years ago, um, I, I viewed it as more of a talent crisis um, as far as the industry um, and, and, and bringing new people, new professionals into the industry and everything else. Uh, um, I, I think in the last six years we've made some progress. Um, it may not be in the crisis status anymore, but there still definitely exists a talent gap. And, and uh, you know, I think within the Lansing area, um, if people aren't aware of it, uh, you know, the insurance industry is significant. Um, we have a number of insurance companies that have their headquarters right here in the, the greater Lansing area, whether it's auto owners or accident fund, Farm Bureau, Delta Dental, Jackson, very large operations. And, and each of them have opportunities for these students to, uh, you know, maybe start out as an intern um, with the opportunity to, to uh, get full-time employment uh, after graduation. Um, in addition to the larger companies, uh, you know, Monique's already mentioned a couple of the, you know, what I would call the, the small business owners. And there's hundreds of them in, in the Lansing area that are not only selling insurance, but also providing service. To, to, the, to, to those who need the protection, um, you know, I, I tend to refer to them as the, those are the ones you see on the billboards. Um, mm-hmm. if, if you see, see a, a face on a billboard, uh, that's more than likely a, a one of those small business owners that's uh, providing the insurance uh, in, in um, partnership with the insurance companies. But uh, we still need to continue to, to recruit students. Um, again, there is a gap, but we're, we're trying to close that gap. But, uh, you know, I think it's just... Uh, important to, to support these programs um, and, and uh, encourage the students. Uh, as you mentioned, there's many, many challenging careers. Um, uh, I've been in the industry for over 30 years. It's rewarding as well. Um, you know, uh, as far as what we do as an industry, it's not just sales. There's so many other opportunities uh, involved in traditional programs or careers, but also what you can do with with a math degree or a finance degree or, or you know, uh, human resources, uh, many, many different opportunities. Very good. And then there's a lot of other supporting associations that the students can get involved with, um, such as Gamma Iota Sigma and um, Ensuring My Future is helping a lot of students in different ways. Can you go into some more details on those? Sure. Sure. You know, and, 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 and uh, you know, the Gamma program, um, you know, not so much at the high school level, but uh, you know, we make them aware of what the Gamma Iota Sigma is. It's a national organization. So they're, they're trying to, to help the students that are pursuing careers in insurance and risk management um, and, and develop their opportunities. So I know that, uh, you know, there at Atlantic Community College, there's a, there's a Gamma chapter there. Um, and a lot of the different uh, colleges and universities within Michigan and nationwide, um, that have these uh, insurance and risk management programs also are part of GAMMA. So, um, you know, really, you know, try and develop their skills. Um, you know, each of the GAMMA chapters have a, a, a board of directors, so there's a leadership opportunity. Um, but I think it's even more important that they help them build their soft skills um, with mock interviews and, and you know, um, dinner etiquette and, and, and just, you know, just some, some different opportunities that way. Um, and as well as applying for scholarships. Um, again, the industry is, is very large, not only in the Lansing area, but, you know, in, in other states. Um, and, and a number of times you'll find uh, associations that have scholarships available, um, and some of them go unclaimed because there just aren't enough applicants for it and everything else. So that's, that's really why, you know, I'm very much involved with ensuring my future. Uh, again, we don't provide any scholarships, but we're trying to promote these <laughs> careers that are available to the industry. Um, again, the variety of industry, the variety of careers, 
and at the same time, make sure that they're aware of where the sources of these scholarships are at. Um, you know, I'm aware of, of, of students that have gone to a private school for four years and graduated debt-free. Uh, and I think that that's, that's an important message to share is, you know, with a little bit of effort, these students can, can get some scholarships and, and uh, help pay for their, their college education. That's fantastic. You know, so many opportunities going into this industry. Um, Monique, can you explain or describe to us how you, how would you describe the students that are entering into your program? Obviously, you have a significant amount of students now. How, mm-hmm. what, are they, what are they like? What are your students like? So clearly, when they, uh, they come in for visits, Mary, during their 8th grade year and their 10th grade year, and I let my students do the pitching. I let them do the marketing. I think they, they best um, are able to articulate what happens in the class. Um, they, they say, Ms. Cozy, you, don't, you can't talk to them. You'll tell them about all the, the scholarship stuff and the credits and all that. They don't care about that. <laughs> we want to tell them about all the fun we have in here. Right. So they, I really give kudos to my students because they're the ones who, who draw the, the crowd in. And juniors and seniors in high school, for them to make a decision to go into a class um, that's called business and risk management is really a person, I think, who who is intrigued with a topic they know nothing about. Most students um, don't have the exposure to insurance. A lot of them have um, family members who are in business or maybe in insurance somewhere, but they're they're very um, just the, the population is awesome. They come from a variety of backgrounds, a variety of school districts. But when they all come together and we start learning together and doing projects together, they almost seem like they are from the same district. They are one big happy family. That's kind of how the class turns in because we do a lot of, um, you know, networking and, and projects and experiential things that really draw them together. So they do come from a, a diverse background, but they all have um, an intriguing interest in what is this insurance all about? They hear from the pitches that, you know, there's, like Mike said, a talent gap, and there is a place for them in industry. No matter what occupation um, or what skill set they have, there is a place for them in industry. So they, um, they're they a great group, and, and when they come back for a second year, that's truly an indication that they enjoyed what they did the first year. And, um, you know, word of mouth helps the program grow, but truly my, my kids pitching this to to 8th and 10th graders when they're starting to make decisions on what it is they want to do. Um, to to kind of um, to get tail off of a couple of things that Mike had mentioned, and in filling this gap, I mentioned that I think this year my students have really come to life with really having a purpose and a uh, a sense of what their future is going to look like. We started the CISR high school designation program through National Alliance. All 19 of my second-year kids have passed their personal auto exam this week. They are taking um, their personal residential exam. They know after the fifth class of being successful, they will have a designation. I think that opens up a lot of um, avenues for them. It has allowed them to build a whole level of confidence they didn't have before, that we're not leaving this high school program with our college credit and then going back into, you know, whatever part-time job they had before. They see it as a viable option, a, a connection. Um, this is something that's really motivating them this year that they, they're able to work toward that. Of course, they also work toward their property casualty licensing exam. I've had, I think, six students pass um, at Wilson Talent Center, pass the state licensing exam, um, and one student at the age of 17 passed his CAWC designation he was able to take that at Accident Fund, and then um, another student at 19 passed the life and health exam. So they're really taking advantage of these opportunities. And, of course, we have great support from MAIA, great support from Ensuring My Future. And then um, none of this could happen without the support of Ingham ISD. They're, they're very um, – they see this program as one of the, the pillars of Wilson Talent Center. So that the support from everybody makes this happen. Yeah, it's definitely a, a group effort, that's for sure. Yes. What schools are your students coming from? Well, it, it varies from year to year, Mary, but um, I've got a pretty um, high population of Holt students, Waverly students, Mason students. Um, Dansville seems to be a growing population this year, but it, usually I pull from about 
six or seven districts. Um, Hazlitt is on board again this year, but it, it, it varies. But I would say that Holt, Waverly, and Mason are probably my um, top enrolled students this year. That's fantastic. Just getting mm-hmm. a very diverse group of students. Yes. If a student is listening to this or a parent, how do they go about reaching out to you to get more information and getting their child enrolled in this? Well, definitely they are able to call Wilson Talent Center, and we have um, some very dedicated professionals who would be happy to answer questions. They can also visit the Wilson Talent Center website. We have a Facebook page, and then, of course, Ingham ISD um, would offer the same, same information. Wonderful. Well, you guys are doing a lot of great things out there. I want to thank you, Monique Colizzi from uh, Wilson Talent Center and Mike Maurer, Director of Accident Fund Insurance Company at the Lansing headquarters. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Mary Stucco with Education Unfiltered. I want to thank our sponsors today, which is Accident Fund Group and Davenport University.